What's going on guys? This is the old number seven garage. We're gonna get back to work on our 2016 lethal chassis. And if you're new here, I wanna thank you for stopping by. And if y'all like what you're seeing, be sure to hit the like on the video. So today, we're gonna to put some brand new body bracing on the car. Uh, this is coming from Hammond Motorsports, Dave Hammond. And if you guys haven't seen the new product he come out with in this body bracing, you have got to check it out. So strap in, let's get to it. What's playing tonight? guys so we got this Hammond Motorsport body racing unboxed check this stuff out so you got a 45 and then two 90s so you can mount this any way you want you mount it like that and you can have your 45 up for like the back with the uh, the quarter panels and stuff but Dave stands behind this stuff it is strong all right so my thought is you get hit in the door with this stuff this ain't gonna bend how many times you had just regular old you know, just the aluminum angle. It don't take a whole lot of a hit to fold this stuff up. This stuff here is really strong. Just go on his Facebook page or his website. He's got videos walking across this stuff. In this kit, you get all you need to get your body put together. So we're going to uh, take this old stuff off, put this stuff on. So let's get to it. What's the matter? It's bent. Heaven forbid, it Imagine. bought a used race car and the tab's bent. Yeah, something bent on it. Yeah, she's a little gel hunched. It is cool how that's slotted. A little adjustability built in there. So what do you guys use to straighten this? I know what we're gonna use. You got the tools right there. Is that good, boss? Straight-ish. Straight-ish. That's exactly what I was thinking. I think I knocked your stuff off. In there. Are you on our way? Has this got your seal of approval? You're going to have to work on it, you? Yeah, your seal of approval on it. Much better. There we go. All right, guys, so here we go. That just shows you. See, we got this one mounted on the bottom. We picked up on the bottom part here. Your 45 goes up. A lot of versatility there. This, like I said, would be a good one to do when you're doing your quarter panel on the back. So you can make a straight shot down straight to the, the quarter, you know, right here. Straight to it, where you don't have any funky bends or anything on your spring steel or your plastic rod, plastic strap, whatever you're using. It's gonna work real good. Next on the agenda is, let's get the quarter braces on there it all bolted in boys and you see how that 45 is it, it also it isn't a sharp edge right there so when you're putting your body on there it's a nice roll it's not gonna do any weird stuff on your body but man that, dude that stuff is strong i guarantee you if you get hit right here it's gonna it's gonna fold these spring steels up it is not gonna bend this now look at this, let's go over to this side. This is the stuff we had on it. And basically you sneeze on this stuff and it's gonna bend it. It's already bent right there. I mean, it's neat looking and all, but I bet you I can kick that real hard and bend it. Now what's that gonna do when you get hit in the door? That's gonna fold up like a lawn chair, isn't it? Yes, it is. Just like a lawn chair. Been there and had it. Huh? Been there and had that. Been there and had that. So you get slammed in the door and then that, your door folds up get you in your tire over here how about instead 
your spring steel actually works like it's supposed to because your actual body brazing is tough. Where's that from, he said? Hammond Motorsports. Call up old Dave, he'll get you handled. They sell it in a kit, you've seen it. Something that I wish, <laughs> I really wish we'd have put on here. You know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Down here on this. Uh, up here. Yeah. Your, uh, your T-bar, or not your T-bar, but your deck bars. This is just regular old aluminum. If this car, we we put it together a little too soon, which I mean we're kind of behind the eight ball right now. Uh, you know, I mean most people got their stuff done. There's some guys out there that don't, but most guys got their stuff done. I wish that we would have put that on here. Same way over here. I mean you got all these supports and stuff holding it, but dude, that it's going on the impressions. Guarantee it, going on it. And I will put down below, right down here, in the description of the video, a link to Dave's site, HammondMotorsports.com. He's got a Facebook page, got all kinds of really good videos, very informational stuff on there. He's a smart guy. Let's get back on this. Let's get these flimsy things replaced so your uh, body brazing does what it's supposed to. video up hopefully you found this uh, useful if you need any information on this body bracing I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you to go check this out HammondMotorsports.com the strongest and best body bracing that you're gonna find you need to get you some so for Brian and Tim at the old number seven garage we're reminding you keep it between the ditches and you need to do that because you can't drive very good